when we entered the profession, uh, Canadian theatre was just discovering that it could actually be a Canadian theatre, not just doing American plays, British plays, French plays, that we could actually create our own playwrights. Is there a parallel in design that when you started, our design parents were more or less United States and Europe? In growing Canadian theatre, Canadian writers, Canadian audiences, has there been a Canadian design palette created? Is there such a thing? I think there is. Uh, and the reason that I say that is because um, one of the essays, I wrote an essay for that uh, artsalive.ca website that the order was to write write an essay describing the relationship between um, the director and the designer, but talking specifically about uh, specific designers and directors. And so I went, oh, wow, that's an interesting subject. And uh, we started throwing names around about who I might write about. And then I arranged them chronologically. And we came up with... Uh, we came up with the relationship that Robert Prevost had with Jean Gascon. This is before you and I started even, but I mean, uh, they were uh, one of the initial kind of collab director-designer collaborators uh, way back when the Théâtre du Nouveau Monde was created. So, uh, you know, I, thought, I, I knew Mr. Prevost because I, he had been one of my instructors when I was at the theater school. It was towards the end of his life, you know, and so, I'd known him and studied with him. Uh, I also wrote about, um, who else did I write about? I wrote about Robin Phillips and Daphne Dare. Right. I wrote about uh, John Woods and John Ferguson. More recently, I wrote about Peter Hinton and E.O. Sharp designer he's collaborated a lot with. And it is this kind of sequence of designer-director uh, relationships that has evolved into a kind of Canadian, a Canadian confidence in, in design, you know, and design for the theater. Uh, one of the great deal makers for that, for this was, uh, Oh, I also wrote about John Penway and Marty Meriden because they did a lot of work at NAC, especially in Stratford. But um, Daphne Dare and uh, Robin Phillips, as as wicked as he was in some departments, you know what I mean, and as naughty as he was, he had a, a, a kind of cool, minimal taste about the way he staged uh, his plays at Stratford. Do you remember what those shows looked like? Yeah. They were yeah. so elegant. I mean, the elegance, you could cut it with a knife, you know what I mean? It was minimal. There was never too much of it. It was a bit chilly sometimes. I mean, yeah. it was, didn't lend itself too much to warmth. But nothing tried too hard. And that no. was the same in the acting as well. Nobody tried too hard. No, no. It, it doesn't was, mean it wasn't good. But, but it avoided that had kind a of yeah. restraint to it. So he, as far as design goes, Daphne Dare and, and uh, Robin Phillips's collaboration was very influential, and it made Canadian design. Uh, it affected us all somehow. I mean, we were still remembering how Madame Mosevich might have designed for uh, you know uh, Tanya, Mas Tanya Mosevich might have designed the original for, uh, designer of the stage Tyrone Guthrie right. and stuff which was wonderful but very much of a period you know very much right. of, the, of the 50s you wouldn't really do things maybe the way that she did in them then but it took but Stratford was in that kind of a rut uh, and Stratford is still is, is was and is still very influential as far as designers go because I mean, it's, in many ways, it's the gold standard of design, and they spend an enormous amount of money on the visuals in their shows. So, I mean, it's a big deal, and it's, and it's considerable. But Daphne and Robin, their work together had an effect on um, design, especially 
other designers who were around Stratford at the time, like Sue Benson, like John Penway himself, uh, me too, to some extent during that time. But we picked it, we saw what they were doing, and, uh, and it was admirable, and it affected the rest of us to, be, to, to get minimal and to get cool and to get, uh, you know what I mean, to get, to reduce things down to a thing, to avoid certain excesses that maybe, you know what, you know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. So um, I think it's not entirely due to that, but... Uh, sort of the opposite of Desmond Healy. I mean, Desmond, yes, although tactile, Desmond, full Desmond, detail, yeah, was his own I mean, thing, you know. World. But his his design never had the influence that yeah. the Dare uh, Phillips collaboration had. I mean, Desmond is a great artist and always did his thing, but it, you know, it's about you know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw in New York his um, importance of being earnest that they did. You know, they did it last summer yeah, in Stratford, yeah. uh, like yeah. summer before. And then, remember, he played Lady Bracknell himself. Bedford. Bedford did. Yes. Who did I say? Desmond Healy. Desmond Healy no, did no, not, not play Des Lady Des Bracknell. Des Desmond designed it. He designed it. But it was, no, Bedford. And uh, <laughs> God, it was a huge hit in New York. I mean, a huge hit in New York. 